1v1 on Langerskaya. This game is going to be Complexity versus Konsuke. Complexity playing as Osthair in the south. I mean north. <laughs> in the north. I can get directions right. Konsuke playing as US forces in the south. We're going to see Lexi going. When I say Lexi, I'm referring to Complexity. Sexy Lexi. Lexi going with extra pyos for capping power. Taking control of some stuff down here. Grenadiers grabbing the fuel behind and Pio securing a uh, vision in the house for now. That Pio vision range, that's no. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at that vision range. That is so beautiful. <laughs> that stacks with the house bonus, I guess, because I don't think you can normally see that far out of a house. Maybe you can. Maybe that's totally the same as like Grenadiers in a house. I don't even know. That's how little I play Ulster. I have 23 games played as Ulster. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I should just... <laughs> I should just not even cast Ulster games. OKW only. Or my expertise. My top 200. <laughs> Garbage here, OKW expertise, as opposed to my top 2,000 Ulster. <laughs> Actually has some benefit. Pyo's laying wire here by the haystacks to deny cover to the U.S. Forces Riflemen, and the Riflemen are going straight to the cutoff, sending these two squads straight towards the Ostair base right at the beginning, but there will be no resources cut off as the Pyo's do con uh, manage to take control of the center victory point, and that will restore income from these sectors. And we see a sniper on the field from Lexi. And Reloading. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Sniper is up to four kills already, popping away at those riflemen. Wow, and Lexi is going to go with a second sniper. <laughs> a second sniper? That is rather gutsy to do against US forces. I'm curious what his solution is going to be to the light vehicle that's going to be here in like two minutes in all likelihood. Out, Suspect a lieutenant. There it is. As soon as you see sniper your natural reaction of course should of course be to go lieutenant get that light vehicle on the field whether it's a utility car whether it's a utility car. <laughs> Get a utility car out, try and take out that sniper, catch it out of position if you can. Double sniper is just asking to get wrecked by light vehicles, so I'm not sure what he's going to do. Rifleman working over here on the right side, fuel point, rear echelons grabbing the strategic point. This grenadier squad jumping in the house, and snipers moving up to take shots at some rifle men somewhere. There is a squad pretty exposed over here, so it needs to be careful of those snipers. They're going to start dropping it very quickly. Even if they get caught exposed by the riflemen, which they probably... I mean, they won't. I don't think that a rifleman could win an engagement against them with the health buff. He should retreat immediately. That should be instant retreat. <laughs> if he does not retreat, he is going to just take manpower bleed, potentially lose that squad. I don't know what he hopes to accomplish going this direction, and I certainly don't know why he would queue up a 50 cal against double sniper. <laughs> what is he thinking? That's the worst build decision I've ever heard. 50 cal against double sniper. Okay. That was a late retreat on those riflemen. Just like, why? Like, what were you going to accomplish there, Katsuke? <laughs> By hanging around. Well, there's an early squad wipe. Going 50 cal certainly isn't going to help <laughs> this situation. One squad down the drain. Another squad of riflemen being queued up. The riflemen here are going to jump into position on those snipers. No shots connecting yet. Snipers will camo. He will spot a teller mine going down right there. Lexi should probably just cancel that and put it somewhere else because, I mean, he's probably not going to hit a mine that he just saw getting planted. Snipers continue to kite, taking advantage of cover to simply try and win the engagement through sheer brute force. There's the wipe! Another squad wipe! Oh my god! Why? What is he doing with that rifle squad? I don't even know if that one's going to get away. Okay, the snipers are going to retreat because he's a little scared of the lieutenant's BAR. He didn't like that BAR and Thompson. He was like, I, I better get out of here. 
So, with two squads wiped already, <laughs> this sniper spam opening seems to be going pretty well against a US player that decides not to buy any light vehicles for no reason. Uh, kind of a dicey engagement. Lexi can't win that. His pilots got suppressed by a 50 cal in the back, ironically. <laughs> Turned out to actually win him that engagement, but then he immediately retreats his lieutenant. <laughs> So he won't be able to utilize that to cap. The 50 cal can take control of the strategic point, connect up that fuel, which he has harassed. Pio's moving to take control of the left side, and it's important to note that even though he's lost so many riflemen already, Lexi having invested 700 manpower into snipers is going to be really behind if he ever loses these. I mean, just look at his army. <laughs> March 31st. <laughs> That date exactly. It's actually 82 health, but I mean, nitpicking. But yeah, look at his army. Three squads if he does happen to lose those. He's transitioning to battle phase one, getting his tier two structure up now. Maybe he wants to throw some Panzer Grenadiers on the field. 50 cal will be immediately forced to retreat by those snipers. They're going to hang around a teller mine, which I'm pretty sure he saw getting planted. I certainly hope he did. No Minesweeper, though. Oh, yep, Minesweeper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he saw that. Throwing on the Minesweeper onto those rear echelons so that he can accompany his uh, M20 as he makes his push. M20 is on the field, making his way up the right side. It's a little late, but it still should be fine. Lexus AT gun's not going to arrive for a little while. In production now. Very short window of opportunity for that M20 to hunt down those snipers. He would have had a huge window if he had built this at an optimal time. Now he's going to have to try and make something happen in the next... 30 seconds to a minute. He does have an opportunity over here on the right side. M20 going straight for that sniper. I think he's going to catch him. Pretty good retreat timing reaction there by Lexi. Unfortunately, the sniper is going to re not retreat over the teller mine. The AT gun is not complete. Teller mine just got placed somewhere? No. I don't think that sniper is going to get away. Doesn't really look like it. No grenadiers available to screen. That health buff is making its retreat path a lot safer and actually manages to make it back to the base. I don't know why he got so lazy about that chase. What is he waiting for? <laughs> Go kill it! Oh my goodness, if that sniper survives this, it will be his own fault for just getting so lazy. Oh my god, and he just delivers a bazooka to the Oster base and accomplishes nothing! <laughs> he accomplished nothing! Lieutenant catches this sniper out of position, but because of the health buff, again, <laughs> gets away. Gets away clean. Oh man. I don't think the American player could be messing up against this strategy any harder. <laughs> this is so painful. Well, not looking too good. <laughs> not looking too good. What is that? Oh, mobile defense to capture territory faster. That's... I didn't even know what he was doing. That's so unusual. <laughs> Somebody needs to inform Lexi that I... <laughs> that I cast his game via his stream or something so he'll catch it on YouTube. I wish he were... I wish he were here to see it live. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> then again, he was there. <laughs> so... I guess he's, he didn't exactly miss out. We get every day for the Minesweeper does see the Teller Mine right there, but is not able to sweep it up. Oh no, he did sweep it up, I guess. It's gone. Okay, he sweeps up the mine. Nice Minesweeper play. Picking up something somewhere. A third sniper is now on the field. And, um... Lexi has chosen mobile defense. I assume for the Puma. Puma will provide some more light anti-vehicle, light anti-tank firepower to continue to protect the snipers. It's kind of like a COH1 strategy. You can tell that Lexi's a COH1 player when he's going sniper spam into Pumas. It's pretty, uh, pretty cute, have to say. I am amused. <laughs> I I don't think in a in a com like a competitive environment it would work. <laughs> it 
since most American players just buy an M20 instead of a 50 cal to counter snipers. That's how you, that's how lazy Americans have gotten about countering snipers. They used to be so bad that you could just buy a 50 cal against double sniper and be totally fine. That's how easy it was to kill them before. Now you actually have to build proper counters. I know it's so so hard. I have to counter your enemy, counter your opponent's units. Such bullshit. <laughs> Fourth sniper making its way onto <laughs> the battlefield. I don't even know who's gonna win this engagement. Sniper's just standing in cover, gonna try and brute force down the lieutenant first. There's the incendiary round. Oh god, the carnage! And he's just gonna retreat. It half happy with that squad wipe. <laughs> Every time he engages, it's another squad wipe. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's let's let's count 280, 560, 760 manpower worth of rifleman slash lieutenant. Versus whatever 360 times 3 is, well over a thousand manpower <laughs> of snipers. So, assuming equal micro, the engagement should go to the snipers, especially since the snipers are manpower invested as a counter to infantry squads. And, uh, I mean, I gotta say, Konsuke, you did have a chance to kill one of the snipers with your own 20. And then you kind of just parked outside the base hoping it would die, <laughs> rather than continuing to chase. That one was kind of your own fault. I understand your frustration. <laughs> but I feel like this situation could have been avoided. <laughs> I really do. No commander selection either. Get a Greyhound. Where's your Greyhound? You could probably almost one-shot snipers with the Greyhound main gun if they were wounded. Finish it off with a coaxial machine gun. That's an easy solution. Got the command points for it for quite a while. Clearly letting frustration get in the way of you winning this game because you're one good engagement away from being massively in the lead. <laughs> that Greyhound just needs to drive up and like force a mass retreat from the snipers and then canister around them <laughs> in the face. And then you're pretty much golden. There's one AT gun on the field pointed in this direction. Move up with minesweeper support. Don't, don't get into the arc of fire of that pack. You may not be able to complete a full chase into the base with a Greyhound. Two Greyhounds, maybe. <laughs> and this would probably merit two Greyhounds worth of a purchase. But I will note that Lexi has gone mobile defense. He has Greyhound protection in the form of the Puma, should he choose to field one, as an emergency response. So he's got that safety net. That actually... That is something to consider, but a, a Greyhound could probably take out at least one of these before dying, and that would already be a return on investment. But instead of going recon, he shows an armor company. I don't even know why. Assault engineers certainly aren't going to help. <laughs> I don't think vehicle crew Thompsons are going to do much. I guess he just wants ta the Wolverine. Maybe he's going to try and crush the sniper to death. I don't even know. <laughs> oh man, those incendiary rounds. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that green cover. Look at that green cover abuse. Pack Howitzer takes a shot at that one. <laughs> Both snipers on the right side will retreat just to be safe. <laughs> and he'll surrender. <laughs> well, it's a little late, but April Fools. <laughs> GG. Snipers win.